Hi friendlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through a massive baby haul. Um, bits and pieces that me and Ollie have picked up over the last months. Months? No, that's not right. Probably over the last few weeks, maybe a couple of months. I'm really sorry, I'm out of breath. I am very much losing my breath very quickly at the moment. Yeah, so we've brought a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try and go through this as quick as possible because there's a lot of things that we have got and there's a lot of stuff that we've brought recently and that's the whole reason I'm doing this video. Now that we obviously found out we're having a little girl, it's very, very exciting and we can't seem to stop. Bearing in mind it's December the 18th, all of the sales are going to be from Boxing Day to January, but I don't know what to say. We are very, very excited. So anyway, so I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get straight into uh, the bits and pieces that we've got. I am going to try and remember the pricing of everything, but as most of you out there will know, baby brain is a serious thing and I'm not too sure how it's going to go. So, let's begin. First thing that we got was this which is a baby changing mat from Mothercare and it's got really cute pink stars on it, plain and simple. Um, I wanted something where it's not like covered in pink, I would like things that are a little bit more subtle. It was £7, it's just something to chuck on top of the changing table. It's easy wipeable, it's not anything too fancy. I just want something that's I don't know, like like I said, not too much fuss, not too much sass and all of that lot. Just does the job, looks good and is what it needs to achieve. So yeah, so we got this from Mothercare for £7. The only reason I remember is £7 is because it actually has £7 on it. We also picked up a comfy bath sponge from Mothercare. If you guys can see. And... Um, I think this was like a tenner. No, maybe less. I can't really remember. Um, but Ollie's mum said to us that she used to bath Ollie in the sink, which is what I plan on doing um, with Baby Girl. And in the sponge, they actually have a place where you can lay the head and the bum for the baby. And um, they do some online like this, but then like star form. Star or flower, something along those lines. But I really like the idea of um, bathing her in our Belfast sink. So I'm really excited um, to have this. Obviously, I don't know how long she'll be in there for. But it doesn't matter. I'm very, very excited. She has long legs, so what do you expect? But yeah, so it's literally a sponge. I'm sure you, if there's not a mother care near you guys, you'll be able to find one online. Another thing that we brought a while ago was these clouds from Ikea. Which, I don't know whether you guys are going to be able to see this, but in the corner, it kind of shows a photo of what they are. But they hang over the crib, or... What's it called? I, why have I gone American? In her cot. It goes above the cot, or like around it, and it's just really cute. We really like the idea of, like, cloud theme and star theme, so I'm very, very excited by these. These were not very much at all. I think these were like eight or nine pounds for my Kia. So much at all. I'm really excited to put these up. Um, once we've got all the nursery kind of together, I'll do like a little tour for you guys. Our furniture turns up on the 28th of December, as long as everything goes well. So it shouldn't be long till you guys have to wait until you see our nursery kind of nearly complete. So I got those for like however much it was, eight, nine pounds. In our mother care little spree, we picked up this which Ollie, like, loves. Um, we got it for £14.50, and it's got, um, it's got an under, under sleeve, and it's got little pink hearts on it, um, and it says loved on the front. Um, it's really, really soft. It's like, um, not felt, but it's that lovely material. So Ollie's really, really super excited for her to be in this. It's got little cut-out hearts all over the front of it, and the back's exactly the same. Poppers at the bottom, obviously for easy access to changing nappies. Um, 
everything we've kind of brought we've gone for bigger sizing we figured everyone would buy us really small stuff like newborn um the majority of people that i've been saying this to have been like oh actually i've brought you like bigger stuff so i then said to ollie maybe we should pick up some more like newborn things um so we went to sainsbury's the other <laughs> the other night and we like we fell in love with these and you've got a little flowers and blue with gold dots and then this one is like a white with cut out like flowers I don't know if you guys can see and then it's the same at the bottom but these like a like long sleeved baby suits they are really 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 cute look I'm so freaking excited. So yeah, so these, um, so we got some long sleeve ones and we got these newborn, so she can look super awesome cool when she's first born. Um, and also, so we actually have some newborn ones because we, we really don't have anything newborn. To think like this is tiny. Um, so yes, yeah, so we got those from Sainsbury's for like eight pound. I think Sainsbury's are gonna do a sale soon. Because the way that everything was like lined up just screams at me sale. And I've always got my eyes out for a bargain. So we got those as well from Sainsbury's. We're going to pick up some um, short sleeved ones as well. Because April for England can range from snow through to boiling hot summer weather. So we will see what she's born into. Because we're due April 6th. Who knows? Now these, we picked up some bunting, or Ollie's mum picked us up some, some bunting from a little, um, here in Suffolk, um, in Ipswich, they, or around everywhere actually, they do like baby and mum events. So we picked up these for three pound and it's like two meters worth um, for her room. Um, in these events, I really can't remember what they what they're called. Um, you basically, it's like a glamorized car boot sale. So it's all parents and mums around the area. They set up a stall and they sell all of their old kids stuff. It's really good actually. We picked up a high chair as well um, for twenty five pounds, which we were really really happy with. It's the same one that we've seen in John Lewis. So it was quite nice actually being able to grab one that was like a lot cheaper, um, saving a bit of money. And it was in great condition as well. I'll put in a clip of the high chair because we're really excited by it. It's already set up in our dining room. I still need to clean it and the cats keep smelling it. I'm like, don't sniff it too much because you're like, you're not going to get used to it. Blah, blah, blah. But it's quite nice for them to actually get used to a foreign object that's baby related. So we got that as well ages ago now actually we I picked up this which I have kind of pulled everything out of it but it's it's basically a little I want to call it like a hospital kit that's not for like hospital it's for home for kids or for babies and basically it has like um, a rubber finger toothbrush for a newborn um, it has a is this the snot thing? I think this is the snot puller outer for babies. You get like scissors in it and you get nail clippers, which I know that some people just bite them off. Um, like a little spoon, which I think is for medicines. They get older. Hairbrush and comb, nail files. Um, oh, and you get like a room thermometer and, oh, maybe this is the snot one. I can't remember. But I got all of that from TK Maxx for a tenner, which I thought was really good because at least everything's in here. The thermometer works, so it's actually got a mouth thermometer as well. Um, so we picked that up as well. It's kind of like we're trying to pick up little bits and pieces here and there as soon as we see them. Um, over the last few months, it's been quite nice just to pick up bits and pieces that kind of like jump out to us. So I got that as well. I'm sorry that I'm going so quickly. I'm just trying, I'm very, I'm very cautious of how much stuff we actually have and how much I need to go through. Now we also picked up, which I had to hide from my sister, bearing in mind, because she loves elephants, is this amazing elephant from Ikea, which I think was like 13 or 14 pounds. 
Um, we got it for her room, obviously, and also I think she'd look really cool laying in um, elephant's belly for photos. Really, really soft and cute. Ikea's toys are actually really, really nice. So yes, yeah, so this was like the first toy that we brought for little Bean, little baby girl. Um, really, really love her. Love it, to be honest with you. I think um, her room is going to be pretty much themed around animals. Now, moving on to clothes because they're amazing and we all love them. So we did um, Ollie, bless his little heart, picked up two newborn um, bands for her head. But um, one is pink and one is white and they have little flowers all over them. He got these from Mamas and Papas and they were £10 for the two. Um, we are so excited about the fact that she's going to be in bows, um, she's going to have little headbands and everything like that sort of thing. Ever since we've watched like the Scaloni Jolies we've fallen in love with like little bows and things. So I'm very very excited that she's going to have some of her own and I'm also going to buy some other age ranges as well. But yeah, Ollie surprised me with these which I just love, absolutely love to bits. You've also got at the back like the adjustable head bit, but at the end of the day you don't know what size baby you're going to have, so it's very handy. So moving on to H&M, which we've done a lot of shopping at H&M actually. So we picked up this really cute jumper, bearing in mind she will be a seven to nine months by the time that we hit October, December next year. It's a nice little cute little jumper. It's got little buttons at the top here. We got this for eight pounds. Um, obviously you, you can see the different colors and the little stripes. So the pink, blue, white, and brown. Um, I love this so much. She would look so cute in this with like a little pair of leggings or jeans or anything like that, but it's just so cute and it's so soft as well um, so we could not resist that one these I love by the way I picked up two <laughs> two lots of these or two pairs of these shall I say and I want her to be in these like all of the time I love them so much um, these were three pounds for the both so you've got white with little black spots and they're really really thin good for summer because obviously if she's a summer baby, well, I say summer, yeah, an April baby in the summer heat because you just don't know what we're going to get. I mean, these are quite big actually. These are 12 to 18 months, so that's, a, no they're not, they're 6 to 9 months. So she'll be wearing these over tights, clearly. But I don't really care, even if she does wear them with leggings or tights. Because they're so cute and I want them for myself. So we've got two pairs of those, and I think it'd be quite nice as well, just like roaming around the house at Christmas when the heating's on, and it's nice and warm. Also picked up these, look how amazing these are. They are like little stretchy leggings. Like uh, these, all of these clothes make my heart melt. We got these for five pounds. They've got little pockets in the back. Um, these are in size 9 to 12 months again like I said we, we've brought quite big stuff because the stuff we really like we've brought bigger so that she lasts longer in it um, but stretchy and they've got like little turn up so you can turn them up at the bottom or not but they are just super cute super super cute so really happy with those as well um, oh my god I forgot we got this so these were £8 and as you all know by now I've got a thing about mustard. Um, <laughs> how adorable are these? They've got a little love on the corner of the pocket and um, the corduroy as well. Emily helped pick out some of these too because we all kind of got obsessed in H&M. Little pockets on the back, they're basically like jeans. We got these in size 9 to 12 months as well because we love them so much. They're just so small. I'm getting, have to get used to like folding clothes that are so tiny. Now these, I want a pair for myself. Like me and baby girl need to match. We got these for 2 dollars How amazing are these? Like seriously. <laughs> I like me and Emily were saying like how much we want these for ourselves. They are literally <laughs> leggings 
and we got them in 9 to 12 months of course and they are leopard print but I love them so so much. $2.99 as well is so good but we also picked up a mustard jumper to go with them. I just love it so much. The jumper was $8.99 and we got this in 12 to 18 months. Just to make sure that, you know, she lasts a little bit longer in it. And it's mustard and I love it. Just imagine her wearing this with these. Look. It's going to look so cute. I can't even hold it up properly. Ta-da! She's going to look amazing. She's going to honestly be... I am already biased. She's going to be the best dressed child out there. Even from, like, birth. I've said it. Let the internet hate me. But, yeah. So, they, they were the kind of first bits and pieces. No, they're not. They're the most recent pieces that we've brought. So, if you guys like any of those, H&M do have a sale on at the moment. Like, their summer bits. Um, obviously like the jumper and the leggings, these are all new, so these will still be not in the sale. But they might be like over just after Christmas, which will annoy me, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I also forgot that we brought this from Ikea. This was the first thing <laughs> that we brought Baby Girl Bean. It is an owl nightlight, and basically Ollie has always been obsessed with owls for a little while now. Um, and we thought it'd be really cute to have an owl nightlight in her room I think if I remember rightly this was like 15 pounds uh, but totally worth it because <laughs> it's so cute and we are so chuffed with it so that's something else um don't worry we have still, still got quite a bit to go um we also picked up now you guys were I don't know whether you guys would have seen these these are the Scaloni Jolies written by Jonathan Scaloni um a friend of my own book you get a little book and you get um, Andrea and Alessia toys inside, which is for, um, which is their children if you didn't know who they are. Um, I'm going to uh, copy a link into the description so you guys can have a look. It's $12.99 for the book and the toys. I, when I first tried to get hold of one of these, um, they sold out straight away. So I was very glad that I actually got hold of one this time when they actually release them again but you can get the book on your own or the toys on their own it's just a great little story um i don't want to open it yet <laughs> i'm really excited like once her room's done i'm going to leave it in the box for a little while until until she's here because we've got a little while yet until baby girl arrives this mum brought us something that i love so so much is a lampshade for baby girl's room um, it's got little cutouts and little stars. Um, if you guys can see. This was £22 down to £16.50 in Mothercare. I've been looking at this before. I just love it so much because it's got all the hanging stars inside. Um, there, you can see there. So the stars hang off the lampshade as well. So it's going to be very, very star and very, very cloud themed in her room, which I love. Now to something a little bit more essential along with the uh, thermometer and stuff. We picked up our first nappy bin. <laughs> and of course, I chose pink because obviously she's gonna be pink and she's a little girl. And we got kind of overexcited at the fact that we knew that she was a little girl so we could pick up more pink things than probably we would first intend to. Um, so we got a nappy bin of the Sun Genic, um, Tommy Tippy, um, twist and wraps as you can tell I'm not really sure but it looked good and um, as you can see here drop twist and seal so it seals around the smell I'm learning every day go on to the last bag another H&M bag now I think some of the things in here are presents so I will show you the presents um, that we've got or a couple of the presents I think are in here but I don't know where they're from so it might be like a bit of a tease little booties from my nanny which are very very cute um, obviously for when she's next year big how amazing will these be with these also if you can hear my cats right now I'm really sorry how amazing are these these are 0 to 3 0 to 3 which means she can actually wear them when she gets out so I'm super excited about that thank you Stacy, because I love them 
Um, okay, so gonna try and rattle through this one because we are losing time. So these are from, this is from Baby Gap and it's got a nice little cute Peter Pan collar, um, buttons on the back and it's like ribbed down the front and the little snap is at the bottom. We got this for 9 95 I think this was in the sale though with like, you could buy two because we bought two. The other one is spotty and with a little Peter Pan collar and they're saying just grab white spot. So this one's in three to six and this one's in zero to three. So we got two of those. I think they were something in the sale. I can't really remember now, but they're both from Baby Gap. There's something else we got from Baby Gap in here. Oh yes, these really, really cute leggings. They've got little frills at the bottom, obviously in baby pink. Uh, we got these in zero to three and these are 7 dollars very very like hard wearing it feels like so I'm super excited about these these are super cute with any of the outfits that we've got actually um this one is also from baby gap which is a little romper and the little um ruche at the bottom which i love ollie actually fell in love with this mainly because he could see me in this and i don't disagree with him um, we got this in zero to three so she could wear it straight away and it was 15 pounds or 14 pounds 95 which is pretty much 15 pounds okay. so H&M stuff now so we picked up this little denim dress with the little frills on the side for four pounds in the sale in six to nine months and it's really really cute with a little button detail at the back we also picked up one exactly the same pretty much but this one's in pink, which me and Ollie are so in love with. It's like the dusky pink and it's corduroy as well. We got this in 12 to 18 months because we loved it that much and it'll be colder then. Um, and this was 7 dollars So these with any leggings or tights. I still haven't picked up any tights yet and I cannot wait. Um, we also picked up this really, really cute blue little dress, which is 12 to 18 months and we got it for £3. It's got like flowers, it's blue, and it's got little rabbit heads on it. It's really, really cute. So this looks actually quite big in comparison to the other ones. Quite a thin material, so um, depending on what time of year it is, we'll have to put some tights on her. Now, I could not buy, could not not buy this one. It's got a little cat's face on it. It's so cute. I think this was like £5. Didn't have a tag on it, but I said to Wally, we have to have it because it's got a cat on the front. But it's got little, little snappers on the front so you can like adjust it to their size and that's perfect really. So we got two in this pack. These, with the little rompers again with the little frill at the bottom and the little snappers. Um, these, six, four to six months. Four to six months and you got two. So one with the blue hearts and the little pink blue with the pink and green hearts. And then to match it is the green little romper with all the buttons down the front on both and with these both were five pounds from H&M I think sale so four to six months two pounds little grey with black spots nice little yellow bow just general wear and maybe with a pair of leggings but it's really really cute so that's nearly everything I mean there's still some other bits and pieces that we got as presents and bits and pieces that because of everything's been moved into that room instead of the room behind me um there's kind of bits and pieces everywhere but I feel like this is a good overview of everything we've brought so far I really hope you enjoyed this video if you've got any tips and tricks ready for the boxing day sales please let me know I am open um to consideration of where I should go I'm very very excited for the next sale so many things that I want to buy um, but yeah, so I will see you guys all next time for I'm sure another baby related shopping haul themed thing. Um, trust me, the Wales vlog is on its way and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!